Do you think that your specific person is perfect while you're not? Are you constantly worried about losing them to another man or another woman? Do you believe that they could have anyone they wanted and you can't? Do you catch yourself thinking, why would they choose me? Are you constantly worried about every little thing you say and do because you think that it's that easy to drive them away and make them never want to see you again and to make them stop talking to you? Do you feel that you need to always be available for your specific person and that you have to make all the effort to keep the relationship or the passion alive because otherwise they'll just find someone else? If you answered yes to any of these questions, then you're putting your specific person on a pedestal, making it almost impossible to manifest them. But don't worry, because in this video, I'm going to tell you exactly how to take your specific person off the pedestal and have them chase you instead. What's up superheroes? Welcome back to my channel, the place where we make the impossible possible. I'm Scarlett Grace from Unseenseraph.com. I'm a manifestation coach and today's video is all about taking someone off the pedestal and getting them to chase you. If you're new here and you want to learn how to manifest any desire fast with the law of attraction and Neville Goddard's teachings then start now by hitting the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you won't miss any video that could change your life. And if you need some extra help or my personal advice for your situation, email coaching is now available. You'll find the links in the description below. I also have a brand new 21 day course on how to manifest your specific person. So if that's what you're looking for, then click the link in the description to check it out. All right, so let's talk about taking someone off the pedestal. There are many, many ways to tell if you're putting someone on a pedestal and I'm going to share with you several things you can do to take them off it and have them chase you instead, including a very powerful imagining session or meditation that you can do. So make sure to watch this video until the end to get all the tips and the meditation. So let's start at the beginning. The number one thing that shows you've put someone on a pedestal is when you feel that you need to be constantly available for them. Do you feel that you have to run and do whatever they asked you to do all the time, even when they haven't been in touch for a while? Do they call you in the middle of the night and you think you have to stay up and talk to them even if you have to wake up early in the morning? Are you always at their beck and call? Then you've clearly put them on a pedestal and made them more important than yourself. You made their needs, their thoughts, their opinions, everything about them more important than you. And you cannot manifest anyone this way. And the reason for that is pretty simple. Everyone in your reality is you pushed out. Everyone, no exceptions. You are God in your reality. Think of your reality as your own big movie that you direct and you also choose the cast and write the scenario and star in. In your reality, you are the absolute star. You are number one. But if you go and make someone perfect and so important and put them on a pedestal, then you have basically decided that someone else is the star in your own movie. And you're not just making them the star of the movie, but you also think that they have the power to write the script and direct the movie and choose the cast. But it's your movie. It's been your movie all along and it's yours and only yours. You're the only person with the ability to create in your reality. And by putting them on a pedestal like that, you give away all your power and you cast yourself in the role of a victim, not good enough, pining after someone so perfect. You cannot manifest this person or anything else in your life that matters if you hand them all your power. Why would you give all your power and all your perks and privileges away like that to someone else? And no one can see you as important or valuable or worthy of respect and admiration if you're putting yourself down by making someone so much more important than you and putting someone else's needs above your own every single time. You are the star. You're absolutely unique. There's never been someone exactly like you ever before on the planet. And there will never be anyone exactly like you. Ever. You are unique. You're awesome in ways no one else is. So be the star in your own movie, instead of hiding in the shadows and putting someone else in the limelight. No one and nothing can bring you your specific person if you choose to hide and to give up all your creative power. 
If you don't see yourself as the awesome person that you are, then why would you expect others to see you as awesome? If you're constantly thinking, this person is so hot and perfect and oh my god, I love them so much and I want nothing more in the world than to be with them and if we are together, then I will be happy and this is the only way I can be happy, stop right there for a moment. You just put them on a pedestal and told them, hey, from up here, you can look down on me. See how flawed I am and how perfect you look up there? They might be hot and amazing and successful and whatever, but so are you. Are you thinking the same thoughts about yourself that you're thinking about them? If not, then you need to start thinking about how awesome you are. Oh my god, I'm dropped that gorgeous. I'm so hot. I'm an amazing person. Everyone wants to hang out with me. Any man would be lucky to have me. I'm so amazing that guys can't believe that someone like me is interested in someone like them. I'm a total catch. He feels so lucky that I'm into him. He's so flattered that someone as amazing as I am is showing interest in him. I'm everything he ever wanted in a woman. He can't stop thinking about me. Tell yourself all that, and not just once, but every day. Stop focusing only on how perfect he is, and start focusing on how perfect you are. And if right now you're thinking, but he's this and that and nothing special, then you, my friend, are very, very wrong. Every person is special in their own unique way. And every person has talents and abilities and things that others don't. If you can't think of anything particularly awesome or special about yourself, then that just means that you're too used to putting everyone else on a pedestal and downplaying your own strengths and it's time we dig up some facts about how awesome you are. So grab a piece of paper and write down 30 things that are awesome about you. It doesn't matter if you don't see them as important or relevant to manifesting your specific person. What matters is that you write them down so that you can finally begin to acknowledge them. What are you good at? I don't care if it's something that sounds important to people like, uh, I don't know, heart surgery for example, or if it's something you think no one would be impressed by, like knitting clothes for your niece's Barbie dolls. If you're good at it, then it goes on the list. And write down all the things that are awesome about the way you look. Again, I don't care if you think you don't look that great or that you're not special. Everyone has something that is beautiful about them. Maybe you have sexy toes or soft skin or perfectly shaped eyebrows. Put that on the list. You know how when we're in love, we think about how much we like someone's hands or lips or whatever? Tell yourself how your specific person has similar thoughts about you, about all the parts of your face and your body that are gorgeous. And ask other people what they like about you. What do your friends like about you? You'd be surprised the kinds of things we take for granted about ourselves that are actually a big deal to others. So find out what other people who like you and love you appreciate or admire about you and put those things on the list too. And start thinking about how amazing you are every single day. You want your specific person to chase you, right? Well, everyone is you pushed out. So to get them to chase you, you first need to convince yourself that you deserve to be chased by hot and amazing guys. And that means that you need to change the language you use, both out loud and in your mind, about yourself. Start thinking of yourself as hot. Start thinking of yourself as unique. Start thinking of yourself as a great catch that every man is attracted to. Start thinking of yourself as number one. You're always number one. You're always the one they choose. You're always the one they try to impress. You are good enough. You're worthy of having your ideal guy chase you. You're worthy of having your ideal relationship. The second thing you can do to take someone off the pedestal is to stop seeing them as perfect because they're not. I don't care how perfect you think they are. Everyone on this planet has flaws. And if you're not seeing them, then that's why you're making them the star of your own movie. Stop idealizing them and see them as the human they are. They may be super hot and very successful and charming and talented and whatever, but trust me, they still burp and they still fart and you don't want to smell their gym socks. And no matter how perfect you think they are, I can guarantee that they too have insecurities and they too mess up every once in a while and they too can make a fool of themselves or say something stupid or make mistakes. They're not plastic dolls made to be perfect. They're human, just like you are. 
And if you realize this, then your life will become so much easier because I'm right there with you. Manifesting a God who's 100% perfect is hard, but manifesting a human, that's easy and natural. And who you want to manifest is a human. So stop seeing them as a God. Try to think of a few things that aren't so perfect about your specific person. Maybe they look great, but they have, I don't know, weird eyebrows that they have to trim all the time. Maybe they have an awkward laugh. I don't know what it is, but they do have things that aren't perfect. And if you can't see them, then ask your friends. I know about myself in the past, whenever I saw someone as perfect, my friends didn't see the same person as perfect. And since they weren't in love with that, with that person, they could objectively point out the not so perfect things about them. And if you're that person who is always at your specific person's beck and call and they call you out of nowhere in the middle of the night and expect you to pick up and then they disappear, well, that right there is something that isn't perfect about them. This kind of behavior, it's not cool and it's definitely not perfect. From now on, whenever you catch yourself thinking about how absolutely perfect and flawless they are and how you're full of flaws and you start feeling desperate, stop yourself. And think of them doing something nasty. Like, I don't know, think about what happens when they eat a very spicy burrito or something. That should bring that perfect image down a notch. You've got to raise your standards and start thinking of yourself as a powerful and very desired and desirable individual. Who saw your specific person and decided that, hmm, looks like he meets my criteria. And he chose them. And they should feel honored that you chose them. And deciding that they meet your criteria isn't a permanent thing. If they keep messing up, then you can reevaluate them and decide that, you know what? They may be hot and successful, but unless they drop this act and start making an effort too, I'm not interested in being with them. Plenty of hot eligible men out there who would feel lucky and blessed to be my boyfriend. Everyone is you pushed out. Unless you set your standards high, and unless you start seeing yourself as awesome and the kind of person who is worth making an effort to be with, then no one else will. And that includes your specific person. If you allow them to not treat you right because you think doing anything else would drive them away, then that means you don't believe you're worth it. And so will they. And if you believe you're not worth him trying to impress you and make you happy, then he will mirror that and treat you in a way where he's not making an effort to impress you and make you happy because he's you pushed out. Change the way you see yourself. Believe that you're truly worth it for someone to make an effort for you and chase you and that you deserve to get all the things you truly want in a romantic relationship and you will see your specific person's behavior change to reflect that. Don't choose the version of yourself who is not number one and awesome and don't choose the version of him that sees you and treats you as not number one and not awesome. Choose the version of yourself that is number one and incredible and very much desirable and desired. And that will manifest the version of him that sees you as number one and incredible and desires you deeply. Now, if all of that makes sense to you and you know you need to take them off the pedestal, but you just can't get your emotions to align with that because you still feel that they're so awesome and so much better than you, then here's the third way to take someone off the pedestal. So up until now, you have been the one chasing after that person and they have been the one who isn't as interested. From a psychological perspective, this would make you subconsciously feel and believe that you are the weak one and they are strong. They have all the power and you are the servant, ready to please them whenever they want. What we want here is to reverse the situation completely, turn it completely upside down. And we're going to do this through an imagining session or a meditation but not the kind of imagining session you're familiar with. The first component your imagining session must have if you want to take them off the pedestal is a reversal of roles. So up until now, you are the one chasing them. In your imagining session, I want you to see them chasing you. What have you been doing up until now? See them doing it instead. Did you spend hours by the phone waiting for them to text or call and feeling more and more desperate when they didn't, wondering where they are and who they are with? Then see them doing that instead. See them sitting by the phone and feeling miserable because you haven't texted or called and they're wondering if you're actually with some other guy. Were you the one who always messaged them to see if they want to meet you? Then see them messaging you instead. 
Were you the one who kept trying to get them to spend more than twenty minutes with you whenever they dropped by, begging them to stay a little longer, then see them begging you to stay instead? All the things you feel about them and all the things you have been doing for them, see them doing all that for you. And if possible, turn the volume up too. Imagine that they're making three times the effort you were making up until now, that they love you and want you three times more than you wanted them and loved them up until now, that they're going to even greater lengths to impress you and get you to commit than you ever went. Got that? All right. Here's the next part that needs to be part of your meditation if you want to take them off the pedestal. And this one may shock you a little bit. In your meditation, while they're chasing you and wanting you, you should take on their attitude and be indifferent to them. In your meditation, they're texting you and begging for an answer while you're the one ignoring them. In your meditation, they're begging you to stay a little longer while, while you're the one saying, sorry, but I have to go, maybe next time. In your meditation, you're the one ghosting them and you're the one who expects them to be there for you whenever you need something. You're the one whose feelings are cool towards this person, not, uh, you're not the one deeply in love with them, only they are. You're like, meh, he's okay. If they haven't been that into you up until now or if you want them more than they want you, Then in your meditation, make them three times more interested in you than you've ever been in them and make yourself more indifferent towards them than have ever been towards you. Now, this is not a regular imagining session, so you don't need to create a short scene and play it over and over in your mind every day. Come up with a series of scenes where the roles are reversed, just like I just described, and every day spend at least 10 minutes seeing these scenes in your mind, one after the other. If you do it for several days, then you'll notice that you're suddenly not as crazy about this person as you used to be, and chances are they will also have become more interested in you all of a sudden. A word of caution though, you don't want to use this technique for too long, because if you do, then you're going to manifest losing interest in this person completely. In fact, if what you want is to be able to let go of someone completely and move on, then this is a great technique to use. If all you want, though, is to take them off the pedestal so that you can manifest a relationship with them easily and effortlessly, then don't use this technique for more than a week. And stop even earlier than that if you feel that if you do it any longer, then you're going to lose interest in this person completely. So that's it for today. Let me know what you think in the comments, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it so other people can learn how to take someone off the pedestal too, and if you haven't already, then subscribe and hit the bell icon, because I put out new videos every Sunday to help you manifest an amazing life.